Hi there, welcome to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we will going to look at the get possible count function. So this possible get possible count function basically re revert or give us back the possible values that means the values which are available for the further selection whether in the current field which is generally not the possibility that if you have selected one field others are basically alternative count but uh, let's say you have another field which is related to the currently selected field then you will have some related values uh, which is related to the first selected value so let's see in practical so that you can better understand this so for data what do we have is basically uh, a very simple data set the first name initials and has cell phone field and their respective values out there and you have uh, all these value filled values separated by the pipe so the pipe is mentioned as the delimiter so we will going to load this data and experiment on this so click close come to analysis what i'll do is uh, create one filter so within the filter we will add the dimension which is the first name so let's start with this and we will then complex it further um, with the relevant example so what i want is simple maybe kpi or i'll just put it here add the measure and in that i will say cat possible count and in that I will just mention the first name and then click apply so five values are there for me to select so five values are out there so if I just select Jane right now only one value is selected so the possible count that means the possibly value which can be further selected is just one in this case but if I select over here one more you get two possible count because we have selected two values so that's one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it is uh, going into the edit mode. If, if I add one more dimension, let's say the initials. And if I click on done, all right, it is not appearing. So let me just make some space. And over here, let me just expand this. And maybe further expand. Done. So the fields are coming over here. Um, so what do we have is basically chain. But one more thing which I need to do, I forgot. For this, I will change first name to initials. So you will see in a minute what I'm doing and why I'm doing. So initials. All right, click apply. So you got six because you have six values one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now if I look at the data set, uh, the value Peter, if I just click over here, it has two possible values, PD and PF, and that's why you get the count two. But if I just uncheck this and select Jane, I have only one possible value over here. That's why the count is one. So you can see the difference, right? Where if I have uh, Peter, you have two possible values in the initial and from initial writing, we are getting the possible count. So the count is two because there are two values which are related to the Peter. And that's mainly I wanted to show you that how you can get the possible count for the initial or for any other field of your interest. And if you're stuck in this sort of a scenario where you need to know, let's say, for example, you have uh, product categories for one product category, how many products are there or for one geo how many regions you are making sales things like that you can get it with the help of the get possible count function so sometimes very very useful even you can like i created a kpi over here you can even create kpis based on this because i've seen uh, with the help of uh, you know these selections the resulted value which is in the other field sometimes they have a lot of relevance for showing the inside information about what's what's going on with the related field Alright, so that's pretty much it and I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.